the southeast corner of Cam corner of Cameroon, as you can imagine, is a very uh, rural jungle environment um, where people hunt um, monkey species and ape species, including chimpanzees, for food. And it's thought that during one of these hunting and butchering processes, that's how the virus was actually f infected the first person. But really, the question is, how did it then spread from there to well? globally, basically. Um, and scientists found, uh, I think around about the 1990s, that, um, that the sort of centre of the epidemic was actually Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is a long way from the southeast corner of Cameroon, but it's actually connected by the Congo River. And if you think about it, about 100 years ago, there weren't any roads in this area of the Cameroon. So the river was the main sort of thoroughfare. And the river flows, obviously, from, well, a branch of the Congo River flows from this corner of the Cameroon straight down to Kinshasa. So it's very likely that either one individual carrying the virus or a series of individuals brought the virus to Kinshasa. And uh, this was at a time when Kinshasa was then called Leopoldville. Um, it was part of the Belgian Congo, and it was being built up as a centre, uh, a large city, basically. It was um, beginning to thrive. It was um, uh, full of migrant workers. It was very male-dominated. And in those situations, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of sexually transmitted diseases were uh, being passed around. And I think HIV just came part of that um, infection base and, and managed to establish um, a foothold there and to increase without ever being noticed. And of course this is a virus not like flu or measles which you notice within two weeks if you're infected but it takes an average of 10 years before you notice you're infected during which time of course you know it passes on to other people through these sexual networks and so uh, it's thought that it was just slowly increasing in that area during that time um, until eventually it found a way of becoming global.